And don't forget, like for example now, we have concessioned on each river port. Our revenue from that source will increase. By the time we concession Baru, by the time we conclude with Uguta, we conclude with Lokoja, and by the time we increase the use of the waterways, because as we are increasing, opening up the channel, the needs will increase. Like I said, by the time we move cargo regularly the way we want to move between Onicha and Lagos, the truth is that over 60 to 65% of containerized cargo that arrive Lagos today end in Onicha and are back. And these cargoes, let us take a, a hypothesis. Let's say it's 5 million containers that arrive and is destined for Southeast. What that translates to is 10 million trailers being on our roads. 5 million carrying the container down, 5 million carrying the empty containers back. And our roads are not designed to carry those pressures. There's nowhere where infrastructure will survive it. So by the time we remove this pressure from our roads and move it to the waterway, it is additional revenue for us. Because those containers now will move by water. And by the time they move by water, certainly we are going to get more money. So we are concerned about it. We are working towards it. And that's why we're laying so much emphasis on it. Like I said, the day I was appointed MD, my first press statement. In fact, that exact day, I don't forget it, 8th of October, 2019. I said that I would have seen myself having succeeded if by the time I leave office, water transportation becomes the transport means of choice for both economic goods and persons. And that is where my eye is. And by the grace of God, we realize it. 